If you hear the word Riz on TikTok, th this is what it means. Riz is essentially referring to your ability to spit game. So for me to break it down more, for those of you guys, what does spit game mean? Your ability to go out, flirt with people, have charisma, and make them like you or be into you, right? So for example, right, if I have Riz, I have the ability to go to a party, see someone I like or think is cute, go, let's say I see you at a party, I have the ability to go up to you at a party, right, introduce myself, start some chat, some chit chat, whatever, get some flirtatious energy going on and get your number or your Instagram by the end of it. And you walk away being like, damn, I kind of like that guy. He's smooth, right? That's the whole essence of Riz. Your aura is going to consist of the way you carry yourself that attracts or repels specific types of people. It will also determine your ability to get the type of response or approach that you want from people because people can be attracted to your vibration, your frequency, your aura, all that good stuff. Now, before we get in deep, I'm a firm believer that we are connected to the universe in some way, shape, or form. Whether you believe in religion or not is unimportant, right? In some way, shape, or form. And I say that to say, even in our everyday life, there's plenty of um, examples of how energy or just a feeling that you can have about someone can affect how you feel towards them or affect your attraction towards them. Not everything about our attraction towards someone we can put our finger on. OK, meaning like you can actually be like, oh, I could tell you exactly what it is about that person that makes them attractive. Sometimes it's just a feeling. Right. And the reason sometimes it's just a feeling is because there are other things at play as it relates to each human being and each individual that also affect how we feel towards them. Those are things that we can't see or touch. Right. We can only experience them and feel them. Right. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's part of life. But I say that to say the reason for that is because there are other things at play that play a role in your attractiveness, that play a role in your desirability that are more than just what size is your waist and how big is your ass. Right. How symmetrical is your face? How straight are your teeth? Whatever. Right. There's more that's at play, even in your physical attractiveness than just that. That's what I'm trying to help you understand. I'm giving you this information so you can be in control of your outcomes as opposed to leaving it to chance. And then you're wondering why you continuously find yourself in the same situation. Just like someone said in the chat not too long ago, a couple minutes ago, um, that said, um, you know, I keep attracting weirdos. My aura must be off. You know, it's not to I'm not sitting here saying you got to change your aura because you're fucking up and you're attracting bums because you're a bum or you're attracting bums because you're doing this and you're doing that and this doing this and doing that. But I want you to understand that the way you present yourself, the way you go about life, your approach, right, your aura, all of that stuff consists of your aura, right, will affect the types of people that you attract into your life. It's the truth. It's the truth. So if you constantly find yourself in a situation where you're attracting the same type of person over and over and over and over again, it's not a coincidence. Okay. It's not a coincidence, right? Nothing in this life or in this world is a coincidence. Bianca said, so it's like chess. You're saying, well, yes, right? Life is a game, whether you like it or not. I know people, I know people hate when I say game because they're like, oh my God, I don't want to have to play this game. Why does life have, to, why does relationships have to be so hard? Why does dating have to be so hard? Why does it have to be? I just want to, I just want to be loved. I just wanted this. I just wanted that. Well, if you want to be desirable and desired by, by people, by men specifically for most of you, right? If you want to be desired by people, you're going to have to do the work of making yourself more desirable. And I've talked about this before and aura being more desirable, Riz, all the same thing, right? Right. My ability to talk to you, be charismatic, flirt, have some flirtatious energy and increase your desire for me by the way I present myself and the way I approach you. You get what I mean? Riz is not just about, oh, I have Riz and I don't like you actually have to have Riz. It's not just something you just sit there and your Riz just exists. Okay. That makes any sense, right? So that's what Riz is. 
And so when people are talking about, oh, I have Riz or, yo, this guy has Riz. They even have a term called a uh, silent Riz where it's just like the same thing, but silent. Um, that's what they're referring to. Your ability to go out, spit game, your ability to go out, be charismatic, flirt, have flirtatious energy, get people to like you, right? That's Riz. That's this essence of Riz. Now, the reason I bring up Riz, you're probably like, what does Riz have to do with Aura? The reason I bring up Riz is because Riz is like Aura, except I don't call it Riz simply because I feel like Riz for what you guys are trying to accomplish, you women are trying to accomplish, is sends the wrong message because I don't think that for you guys, you need to have Riz in the sense where you're going out and like talking to guys or going out and being like, oh, I like that guy. I'm going to go up to him and talk to him. I'm going to go up to him and start a conversation. That's not what I'm saying you should do or think that you should be doing. What you should be doing is receiving from a plethora of guys and then making your choices who is the best candidate. You understand what I'm saying? So my point being is that Riz sends the wrong message, I think, to you guys. And I don't feel like it fits what you're trying to accomplish, which is why I don't use the term Riz. I use the term Aura because Aura is more about the energy that surrounds you and that you walk around with and that you carry everywhere that attracts people towards you. You understand what I'm saying? Rather than Riz, you having to go out to attract those people and speak to them you know what i mean go out of your way to 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 get those people to be attracted to you you are just existing right you're just existing quote unquote and people are attracted to you and the person that you are right because i'm never going to advise you as a woman to be going up to guys and talking to guys and i'm not saying that that's a bad thing i'm just saying you want to work on yourself so that other guys are attracted to you it, it it inspires and motivates the natural instinct in men to chase after you right? You want to be in that position. I'm not saying that you should be able to sit on your ass and guys should be in love with you. There's a level of work and investment you have to put into yourself, right? To inspire and motivate that chasing, to inspire and motivate th those men to want to come after you, right? This is why I say for you, as a woman, this is why I always preach to you guys about figuring out what you like, figuring out what makes you happy, figuring out what your purpose is, focusing on how to better yourself, focusing on how on how to improve your own confidence internally, give yourself your own validation. Because what happens is you go out and guys are attracted to the, the women who are investing the most in themselves. I know it sounds weird and strange and it doesn't feel like it makes a lot of sense. But if you really break it down and you think about it, the men find the women the most attractive when those women are investing heavily into themselves, right? Because when a guy goes out at a bar and um, he sees, let's say a guy goes out at a bar and he sees two, two girls, two different types of girls, okay? He sees one girl who... Um, let's just say for the sake of argument, has let herself go. Hygiene is not there. Hair is a mess. Um, just does not look well kept, right? And the second girl he sees is someone, she's got this beautiful dress on. Her makeup is done. Her hair is done. She looks so hygienic, so clean, so pristine, okay? Just looks so uh, pleasing to the eye right? Naturally, a man is going to want to approach women, num woman number two, right? Because, and when you think about it, all of that stuff that makes woman, woman number two attractive in that scenario is all about the, the time and energy she has spent investing into herself, keeping herself looking presentable and nice and clean, hygienic, her hair is done, right? She's got a nice dress on. She looks good. She looks presentable. Her Maybe her nails are done, whatever, right? That is energy she invested into herself. Now, obviously I'm talking about physical traits, but it's more than just that. I'm just giving you a con a conceptual idea to think about and to soak in, right? All of that energy she's poured into herself. This is the simplest way I can break it down. If your aura is that of someone who is very desirable, right? All the men want you, 
okay? Because you're very desirable. There's so many things you've done for yourself that make you more desirable. The men are coming to you and saying, look, I desire you. What do I need to do for you in order for you to pick me of all the other men who also desire you? This is happening on a subconscious level, right? You then say to him, okay, you want me to pick you out of all these other men who also desire me and all these other men who are in competition for you, or sorry, in competition for me. This is what you're going to have to do. These are the standards you're going to have to meet. These are the expectations you're going to have to meet. If you cannot meet those and exceed those, you will not be chosen. Someone else will be chosen. Okay. This is all happening on a subconscious level. He then in turn says, okay, I desire you so much. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to show you that I'm that guy and that you should pick me. That's what you want it to be. That's how you want it to go. Then in the process of each guy saying, okay, I'm going to top this guy. I'm going to be number one. I'm going to be number one. You allow the process to go through. You allow each of them to go through the process of going through their own particular tests, asking them questions, getting a better understanding of them, getting a better read on them or get a better feeling on them, seeing them in all these different situations, seeing them upset, seeing them angry, seeing them happy, seeing them overjoyed, seeing how much consistency or inconsistency they have. And in that process, you're slowly eliminating one by one by one, by one, until you narrow it down to one person that you're absolutely positively sure of. And then, and only then you give yourself to that guy. Okay. That's the whole idea of what we're trying to do here, right? That's why I talk about how to change your aura is changing also your desirability to other people, right? Changing your desirability is going to help you have more people to choose from. It's also going to help those candidates be more desperate for the job. Because remember we said, this is like a job application, right? This is why I always like you guys to focus on investing into yourself rather than focusing all your time and, on, and energy on how you can give it more to other men. What you should be doing is investing into yourself, receiving energy from other men and deciding who is the best candidate for you, okay? Your aura is going to be about how the things you can invest into yourself and improve for yourself and the and the way you can focus your energy back towards yourself right which will inter will will also increase your desirability towards the men okay and the more desirable you are to the men the more you will be able to steer situations in the direction that you want them to go okay if you can steer situations in the direction that you want them to go and you want a serious relationship, well, what do you think you're going to receive? 